Hey guys, so got some stuff to open for you. I believe these are all CDs. Just going by the outside packaging, they're packed pretty well because I believe it's only about three CDs total. But they're all really thick packages, so kind of expecting a hell of a lot of pa uh, padding in here. So let's get into it. Gotta watch out for Thomas. So only one of these I had a uh, tracking for, so starting off with, you know, what I know one is. So this should be one CD. Or may have messed up and accidentally opened the one that had two CDs, but or they may have just thrown in an extra CD. That's what it looks like. So just yeah, so enjoy this free gift. So yeah, this person throwing a uh, extra CD, but we have a. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Songs for the Deaf. As you'll see, I have another Queens of the Stone Age CD soon. But yeah, I've uh, just been kind of enjoying some Queens of the Stone Age lately. And yet I don't have any of their albums, so... I got some Queens of the Stone Age now, so... Let's look at it. Let's look at the CD... Credits on the inside. And the booklet. Or more of a poster, really, but. No credits, just pictures and stuff. Art's cool, but I like to have lyrics too, you know. Yeah. Just want to make sure there weren't any lyrics hidden in there, but now it's all credits. And uh, this bonus CD is uh, Jimmy's Chicken Shack pushing the salmonella envelope I'm not gonna bother opening and going through with it. I'm not overly familiar well actually I'm not familiar with this at all but I don't know I just don't really feel the need to open it potentially mess it up or I could send it to somebody more interested in this I don't know so yeah all right so if I'm not mistaken this should have two CDs in it they sent a nice big cardboard box that could probably fit a 7-inch vinyl if I needed to ship any of those out. I don't, but, you know, just to give you an idea of the size of it. Bubble wrapped. Looks like this has some sort of bonus CD in there too. So, like I said, from Queens of the Stone Age, we have light clockwork. Uh, if you go on YouTube, I think this actually wasn't fully aired on television. It was like in relation to some ads or something stupid, but you can see it properly as it's meant to be seen on YouTube. But there's this really kick-ass video of, uh, it's Queens of the Stone Age, 
uh, Nine Inch Nails, uh, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, and Lindsey Buckingham, I couldn't remember his name for a while, from uh, 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 Fleetwood, Fleetwood Mac, you know, like a mashup of uh, Nine Inch Nails and Queens of the Stone Age songs, so it's from the Grammys, it's, it's amazing, but yeah, here's the inside of it. Disc. Once again, we have a bunch of credits on both the behind the disc and on the back of this card. Looks like it actually has pretty much the exact same thing on a little insert and on the back here, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, there's no extra artwork, so. That's all that there really is to it. Uh, and then uh, this is just something else that was uh, available in the store and uh, wasn't necessarily something that I was really uh, wanting to get. I mean, I kind of wanted to get it, but like I wasn't in a rush to get it, but since it was there, I figured I might as well pick it up. But uh, from Smashing Pumpkins, we have Siamese Daydream. I believe this was their debut album. Uh, I have uh, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. It's a fantastic album. One of my go-to long road trip albums because it's a double album. Disc. In the back of it. But yeah. Smashing Pumpkins is mainly about uh, the early stuff because uh, about midway through or so in their career, uh, they kind of got to the point where they're either really boring or really cheesy. So, I'm assuming that's some lyrics in there. I believe I've heard this album before at one point, but it's been a while. Yeah, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness is pretty fantastic. Yeah, I finally got their other uh, main album that everybody loves. Uh, and then the seller threw in some burn CDs, kind of funny. Handwritten track list and stuff. Uh, so this first one I would definitely uh, be listening to... Uh, we have uh, David Bowie, Live, NASA Coliseum, 76. So some personal favorite songs that we got on here include uh, Suffragette City, Fame, Life on Mars, Five Years, Ch -ch -ch Changes, Diamond Dogs, Rebel Rebel. A lot of great stuff. It looks like it's a two discs, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. I'll actually give that one a listen to, because I love David Bowie. Uh, then, uh, next, uh, this is, so, we got Dropkick Murphy's 11 Short Stories of Pain and Glory. I'll probably listen to this, too, actually. I, I've listened to Dropkick Murphy's sparingly, uh, I like them. I, I just haven't listened to them a lot, so I actually probably will listen to this one. So yeah, got a pretty generous uh, shitload of uh, extras today, so that's always fun. Uh, yeah, I I should have a book coming in. I think I'll open for you. Let you check that out. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have my regular scheduled videos for my vinyl series getting pretty close to the end on that i believe thomas is back <laughs> but yeah uh not really sure what else i should be having coming particularly soon might have some concert footage in early december that'll be fun yeah i'll uh, see you whenever i do my next video